Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Welcome back to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the universe's best and only improv Dragon Ball comedy podcast. And we are back from a break, a nice long break. And we're back with upgraded production value because we got video elements too. There's a video element to this podcast now. Oh my gosh, Aaron, I'm so excited. We just watched a wonderful intro that you put together. It's fine. <laughs> it's not just fine. There's I, two nice boys hugging and fighting. <laughs> it's got everything. Our our, st- our relationship, yes. It's but literally our relationship uh, in an intro. And I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so excited to be to be back doing the show mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. with with all these new things. Like we're, I'm looking into a camera. I'm looking at you directly, audience. We, we, we never. Well, I was gonna say I'm looking directly at Vince currently because we never do that when we record. We we hide our faces. That's right. We 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 put horse blinders and like uh like a blanket over a cage. I That's get right. into a cage, mm-hmm. someone lowers their blanket on me and I'm like, "Oh, it's nighttime. Time to record the pod." <laughs> yes, like a like a hostile bird being mm-hmm, subdued. Mm-hmm. Uh me That's me, you need to, to put describe. a you need to put a jaw rope on, um rubber bands. I'm more like an alligator cuz I'll death roll mm-hmm. until yeah, I yeah, start yeah, to yeah. podcast. Mm-hmm. But I can't hold your mouth closed with just my hand. You don't That's have true. enough. You got a lot of chomping power, but yeah. a lot, not enough opening. Can't open up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are so excited to. This is the this is episode two twenty three of Kame House Party, and we are going to get into the episode that we watched today. But before we got to do a little bit of Kame housekeeping, we got to you know straighten up. Boy, we've left this place in a <laughs> in a state. We got out of Musty. Dodge. It is, yes, we need to do. We need to uh, get the pine salt, baby, because it is funky in here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Am I old for referencing pine salt? No, I just you're funny, and I missed hearing you say funny things. <laughs> I've been deprived of it. Well, look, I'm just trying to even the playing field because, like, everybody's too horny for the Mr. Clean Man. I know he's got buns of steel and, like, the magic eraser really works, but mm-hmm. Pine Saw Lady, she's the OG. There's and, a Pine Saw Lady. Oh, yeah, honey. She's, she's like, mm, love that scent of Pine Saw. Oh, the woman who pushes Pine Saw. Yeah, the woman who pushes Pine Saw. She's not, is she a mascot, though? I don't think she's a mascot. A spokeswoman. I categorize a, her as a spokeswoman, yes. Which is above a mascot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take that P and G. That's right. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to Mr. Clean's revenue stream. I'm talking about their parent company. Uh, but yes, <clears throat> to to get back into it, we gotta we gotta do that comma house keep cleaning because we're bringing keeping, you into a party. But continue keeping. It's, uh, it's been a month. Lay it's off. been a month. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I I won't. They audience leave Vince audience, alone. Leave me, me alone. Never. Yeah, Aaron, you you keep it up. I like it when you do. It. <laughs> Uh, and the first piece of Kame housekeeping is the world famous UN sanctioned. Am I skipping something? You're good. No, you're good. I'm just uh, making sure I swallow because <laughs> we're live to tape now. There's barely any edits. Yep. Uh, and, you know, there's no editing needed on this piece of Kame housekeeping, which is the one minute rep. No. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> it's the <laughs> one go- minute roundup. <laughs> All right, you cows, get moo. in here. Moo. Mm-hmm. Don't moo me. You speak English, magic cow, Brendan. <sighs> okay. All right. I was just trying to keep up appearances. What? I brought all the cows in. All right. All right, you cows. And you maybe tell them later. I was going to say interpret as we go, but that seems convoluted. Yeah. You can just yeah, tell yeah. them later. And they'll okay. get the gist of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I'm letting y'all go. What? Um, you know, thank you for your years of service, providing milk, various cheeses, companionship throughout the years, but I'm downsizing the ranch. You you, you brought us in here to tell us that you're downsizing the ranch and that we're all out of milking jobs? Mm-hmm. Well, I thought an email might be too impersonal. I wanted no, to I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not mad. Right, I, I'm not mad. These things happen on ranches. Like you got the, cartoon steam coming out of your nose. You sure you're not mad? So I mean, okay, okay. Look, I'm furious. Okay, I've been I've been keeping these cows in line for you. Okay, I I made a wish a, on a star. 
Oh, no. Ed Ed seed. seed. Oh, boy. <laughs> making a wish on stars so good. Oh, well, that, uh, that ladies and gentlemen, is the <clears throat> improvised Western-themed improv scene that we do at the top of every show to loosen up or tighten our improv muscles. And when one of us breaks, this time it was Aaron. Uh, that is the end of the scene. Uh, and we can we can only imagine w- how that would have gone as Brendan explained how he wished upon a star to be able to talk. Maybe he wasn't a cow in the beginning. We'll see. Yeah, we don't we don't know. Actually, uh, we won't see. Yeah, I lied. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fibber. Well, maybe, maybe if we get enough patrons, uh, <laughs> we can expand on those scenes. But now, with that out of the way, we can get into the one minute roundup proper, where one of us, this time Aaron has 60 seconds, that is one minute, to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z up until this point. So that is lots of episodes of Dragon Ball, the entire series, Aaron, and the 64 episodes of Dragon Ball Z uh, you will be summarizing for the listening audience. Aaron, I, I now only have one question for you. Are you ready to round up? I am. I also... Kind of forgot that I was going to do it, even though I made a timer for this new visual element of the show. So here we go. Everyone gets to watch along with us uh, in three, two, one. Dragon Ball is about seven magic crystal balls. If you click them all, you get any wish you want. And it stars Goku, who's a little boy, who's an alien. He came to Earth. He bumped his head, forgot who he was, learned karate. He fights good. He made a bunch of friends. He stopped people, he stopped bad guys from collecting the Dragon Balls to make wishes to conquer the world. He stopped the Demon King. Uh, he entered three Tenkaichi tournaments. He only won the one that counted, the last one. Uh, he made a bunch of friends. He made a bunch of enemies that may- became friends. Then he got married, had a kid. Uh, uh, in his early adult life, he found out that he's, about that alien thing, because his alien brother came down. Alien brother killed him. Uh, he went to the afterlife, trained more. Half of his life is training. Um, he <laughs> came back, defeated more of the same people that were from his planet. Uh, but now his homies are on Namek because they're trying to get new Dragon Balls. Uh, the, and they're encountering Frieza in the Ginyu Force. And, oh boy, it looks real bad. Uh, Goku's son is up to bat? Uh, oh! Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> Great job, Aaron. Thank Great you. job on, on, on the new platform much. with the new technology. Yep. You nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. And being able to see the countdown for you is was stressing me out the entire time. <laughs> I had to look down. You, you probably saw it in the video, but like I was like, you had to don't look, look away. at it. Please don't. <laughs> it's so much bigger than our images when it's up there. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, but that, in case you were wondering, is we do why why do we do that? So you don't have to, listener or viewer, have to go back and watch every single episode of Dragon Ball or listen to every single episode of the podcast to get to where we are now. Um, But, you know, if you wanted to, I don't know, see what happened in those first three Tenkaichi tournaments, you can go back and listen to all of our old content, KameHouseParty.com, or wherever, or whatever, on this feed that you're listening to. Um, Now... With that, with that done, we can get into the second and final piece of Kame House Keeping, where I tell you, the listener, that we watch two different versions of the show. I watch the English dub version while Aaron watches the English subtitled version, uh, because comparing and contrasting is fun. Despite what you heard in school, it was boring. Now it's fun again. We're bringing it back. Comparing and contrasting, it's big now. Pros and cons lists are in. <laughs> Uh, and usually the first thing that is different is the title of the episode. So I am going to start with the English title for this week's episode. Here it comes. All right, waiting. <clears throat> episode 65 of Dragon Ball Z. Let the battle begin. Some could argue that it had already begun. <laughs> But uh, I think I think I, maybe they're referencing something else that my title mentions. Oh, really? Right. So here we go. Uh, the roughly translated title for the uh, original language episode of episode 65 of Dragon Ball Z is Don't Die, Gohan! <laughs> Goku finally touches down on the battlefield. 
Oh man, what a spoiler! <laughs> please, they, they're go just on. like they're just like go on, please don't die. Also, your dad's almost there. Come on, just for like a minute, just just for like a minute, just don't die. Oh, that's we'll get to it, but it's rough. Yeah. I yeah. don't know how many jokes are going to be there. I'm going to, let's try to make zero. <laughs> let's try to make zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> let's get. I mean, it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. So I want to, I want to touch on the recap. Okay. Oh, because well, uh, mine wasn't good enough? No, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, from this episode specifically. Ah, uh, All right, go. Uh, I'll allow it. Uh, the announcer, like, was talking about what what happened in the last couple episodes, the fighting that occurred, uh, Raccoon being a uh, going on beast mode, beating up Vegeta, and then uh, the announcer says this <clears throat> mm-hmm. at, at one point, and then the unthinkable happened. Krillin fell. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was, <laughs> like it, it didn't have like the severity that it was like Krillin got the crap beat out of him. It was Krillin fell, like Krillin fell down, and that was unthinkable. I uh, I'm like, wait, the fall thing, the falling thing is what got you because the unthinkable thing is what got me. I'm like, no, he's done it a bunch. Yeah, <laughs> it's very thinkable. Because uh, and that was my other take was like Krillin losing a fight kind of happens regularly. Was he sarcastic about it? And then the unthinkable happened. <laughs> Krillin fell. Oh no, who's going to save them now? Oh shucks, guys. It looks like Krillin is down again. I guess I guess Gohan has to fight. Ooh, I wonder how this is gonna go down. Everyone, let's go ahead and call it Krillin fell. And we're all boned now. He was our saving grace. Crap, I totally put all my money on Krillin in this one. <laughs> There goes my life savings. Actually, that one's not sarcastic. I I did do that. I thought, you know what? A broke clock right twice a day. Let's let's see how it goes. And whoops. I'm divorced now. <laughs> like every bone in Krillin's body, you are in pieces. <laughs> Uh, can't forget, can't forget, Krillin says, I think every bone oh, in my body right. is broken. Go on. Oh, oh no. <clears throat> homina, homina. So then, Gohan's turn to fight Raccoon. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, everybody knows it. Gohan doesn't really stand a chance. Jace and Birder say it. Raccoon knows it. Gohan still, still determined to fight on. I did like his little power-up sequence, how he had, like, sparks coming off of him and stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he was a, he shot a little Masenko. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. at everyone. Can't edit out burps anymore. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I just got to turn away from Mike. Um, it's... How goofy in this little opening fight sequence? How goofy was Raccoon? He's he's pretty playful. He's giving me a lot of Ace Ventura vibes. Mm. Because he does bend down, talk through his legs. Yes. Back through, uh, back to Gohan. He does say, all righty, in mine. <laughs> I don't know how don't, that translates. <laughs> or maybe the, the localization team had just got done watching Ace Ventura. Probably. <laughs> Raccoon says, do not go in there. Do not go in there. Ooh, yeah, give me those give me those Ace Ventura Raccoon hits. <laughs> y- y- you know. Um, Somebody stop me <laughs> from killing this child. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ace Ventura would, he'd Ace kill Ventura a, would say that. He'd yeah. kill a child to save an animal. Finkel is Einhorn, and Einhorn is Finkel. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> I think I know more mask quotes than Ace Ventura. Mm. Why do you um, think that is? Well, one, smoking is very good. Smoking is easy, yeah. Smoking's um, a good one. Can't make the scene unless you've got the green. Ooh, I didn't know that one. That's a, that's a great quote. I'm surprised um, a, a enterprising young SoundCloud rapper hasn't like pulled that, made it into a sample. Ooh, that's That would be a pretty good sample. Mm-hmm. Um just looking for my mask, because it's, there, 
when I visit friend when I visit one certain uh, when I visit one of my friends now, it is when we go out because things are opening up. I got that full vax. I'm invincible now. <laughs> um, my dad is Omni Man. <laughs> um, he think. <laughs> but we we we. Uh, but yeah, whenever it's like, oh, we have to go. Out. Before we go out, we get our mask. We say, just looking for my mask. <laughs> Much like the early 90s comedy, The Mask, starring mm-hmm. Cameron Diaz. Star- yes, absolutely starring Cameron Diaz and no one else. But a little, yeah, a little, I don't like this jokey raccoon, honestly, because it's. It's like, it, it feels even within that world, like this fight shouldn't be occurring. And they hit the same beats over and over again in the episode. Just like Raccoon hits the same child <laughs> over and over in this episode. Constantly, constantly delivering savage blows to the neck. Like, I'm just like, good God, Raccoon. Just take it easy. Just I, 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 I yearn for the days where he's getting punched in the stomach by Vegeta. <laughs> like, because yeah. this is just, it's awful. And like Krillin and Vegeta watching and... We're, we're we're covering the uncut, like the the original episode. So there's still mm-hmm. all the blood and gore. Like it's Ling- bad, it's lingering bad. on shots mm-hmm. for a very long time. And I know what they're doing. They're they're setting up Goku, right? Yes. They're they're getting the they're getting it's 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 <laughs> it's Raccoon's gun. If you introduce <laughs> a strong Raccoon in the first act, that's right. <laughs> Goku has to beat him in the third. That's right. <laughs> Um, I, I will say to to Gohan's credit, because I do like how they they do a little bit of foreshadowing that Gohan still isn't quite reaching his full potential, even after uh, Guru's help. Uh, that Masenko blast that you mentioned mm-hmm. in my version, they tracked it on the scouter, and Jason Berter uh, are are saying uh, like, "Oh man." That got up to 20,000. That was almost like the kid's power spiked to 20,000, which is like almost enough for them to be like taking him seriously, mm-hmm. uh, which was kind of cool. I, I kept thinking like Gohan's power was just going to keep rising. Um, but no, no, yeah. unfortunately, we had to we had to cut away. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did think at some point in this episode it was going to be. Gohan finally desperately getting it, but uh, getting getting being able to defeat Raccoon. Because I, again, it's very amorphous how these Ginyu fights fit or how the how they actually play out in my memory. But like you said, we do get a cutaway. Um, we get Chi Chi doing some laundry. Uh, she drops it because she senses she knows Gohan um, is is in trouble. Ponchi, Bulma's mom. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Comes out. And the specific words she uses to refer to, refer to Chi-Chi are kind of odd. Oh, okay. And we'll see if, if, if you have the same thing. So she, when she meant, she doesn't call her Chi-Chi. She either says Goku-chan's wife. Oh. Or Mrs. I don't know what the original... I don't know what the original Japanese word they use, but like, hmm. as in Mr. and Mrs. Right, right, Mrs. right. Um, why didn't you learn her name? <laughs> that, that's very odd. They definitely changed that for mine because she does just call her Chi-Chi. She's like, Chi-Chi, is everything okay? That's it. I, I wonder if that's like a uh, like the correct way at the time to address someone's wife. I don't, I don't know, but it... it that does feel very odd. Not by their name. Yeah, I, I don't know. Not I'm as sure. a person. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a cultural, fully full on cultural difference or if it's just, you know, just if, a little incorrect. <laughs> if I can put on the old can, Goku horny conspiracy hat back on. Okay. I, it, I'm going to open up this can of worms again. I think, again, this is, Plays into it. Ponchi maybe might be gaslighting uh, Chi Chi a little bit. Okay. It's like, I don't, uh, you know what? You're not long for this world. <laughs> Goku's going to get single soon. I don't need gonna, to, honey, I don't need to know your name. All over him. Mm-hmm. Me and my high waisted jeans. <laughs> mm-hmm. He loves a striped shirt. 
You know, he told me I was fit once. Mm-hmm. I assume he meant in the British way. <laughs> fit means looks good. He also called me a bird. <laughs> but I wasn't flapping my wings or nothing. He said, come up to the to his, he said, I have to use the loo, <sighs> which sounded very sexual. <laughs> oh, man. Like, uh, I do, I, like, the, the scene that plays out after that encounter, though, <laughs> I, 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 was, I was so happy to can see. I, can yeah, I get it? Before we do that, can I get what well, can I get an opinion? What do you think? Am I am I just feeding fuel to the fire that is Goku's horniness? I think so, but I'm here for it. I, like, I, <laughs> All I'm, right, yeah, I'm yeah, letting we'll I want it I want it to like simmer the rest of the episode while <laughs> all the audience is like Much like Ponchi. Yeah. <laughs> just waiting. A low boil. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She said a rolling boil for Goku. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, one of the some of the best visual gags in this episode can continue. Yeah, I mean, I loved Chi Chi just like following her mother's intuition hardcore. It's like something's wrong with Gohan, something's happening. I'm going, I gotta get to him. Get out of my way. Look how fast I can run. <laughs> She's a blur. She's and a she blur. Moves. She she blows away Dr. Briefs and his cat. <laughs> As, as for the listening audience, I've switched our background to that image, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> which was cool. In my notes, I said, I wish we could see Chi-Chi fight. Like, I want to see how fast and how badass Chi-Chi is because she's making the same noises as Goku running. I love it. Yeah, she never, she should fight. Let her fight. Let her, let, let her play. Let, let the Chi-Chi play, ref. <laughs> let Chi-Chi fight. What are you doing? I, wa- I want to see this matchup. Jake Paul versus Chi Chi. <laughs> She'd knock, him, knock his ass out. Oh. It wouldn't even, it would not last like five seconds. Because you know he's going to say something about Gohan and then, pff, child, is over. Absolutely over. You can't, don't, don't mess with this woman. She's ready to go to space with, without a minute's notice. <laughs> yeah, just presses a, bu- presses a bunch of buttons, lifts off. You think it's going to happen. The ship sputters out, Bugs Bunny style. Mm-hmm. They even do the... And, it, and it's a big crash landing, and I'm like, oh, I'm actually scared. What happened? Oh, God. It's Chi Chi all right. Yeah, we want to, we want to make sure Chi Chi's okay. She wasn't buckled in. Yeah, she wasn't, not at all. Well, Dr. Briefs didn't have time to explain the safety features and that he finally got the espresso machine working in there. Ooh, he said stereo in mine again. Oh, it, come on. But it's... Both work for each version, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it's the the long game. Has they did their they did their research on the mm-hmm. localization. They're like, what what do Americans find to be the funniest appliance? An espresso machine, yeah, unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Just put a Mister put a Mister Coffee in there for Goku. Yeah, Mister Goku's coffee. Do who do you think is the most persnickety about coffee? In the Dragon Ball universe, who do you think loves a good pour over or has an uh, Aero Press? Uh, mm-hmm, again, mm-hmm. that's how much I care about coffee. <laughs> who, who's using Who's using a French press in the in the Dragon mm-hmm, Ball universe? Mm-hmm. Who grinds their mm-hmm. beans every morning? You know, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go outside of the normal Z crew. Okay, I'm gonna ta- I'm gonna tap a Ginyu Force member. I'm gonna say Birder. He's a fast guy. Needs a fast drink. He's he's using that French press. Five minutes. He's got his coffee and he's out the door. Not Monster Energy drink. Ah, oh, that's Raccoon's. That's Raccoon's special. <laughs> oh, Raccoon lo- He loves a G fuel. He loves a G fuel. And of course, we all know Frieza is pushing Bang Energy all over <laughs> his Instagram. <laughs> when I'm conquering the globe, I need a pick me up every now and then. So I reach for bang energy drink. <laughs> Freeze, use the promo code Frieza Force to get 10% off a case. You can only buy these in <laughs> cases. That's how good it is. DM if you want instructions on how to sell this on your own and or conquer the globe. Frieza does coaching. Mm-hmm. You use promo code... Free again, free. It's free. Look, all my promo codes are free. Of course, I kept it very simple. Um, it, it, you know, if you want ten percent off the first, our, our first five minute 
Uh, it's a five, five minute. Yeah, Skype every session, session is five minutes. <laughs> In and out, baby. You better have notes. <laughs> uh, oh boy, <clears throat> it's a uh, man, man, man. Because I, I, you know, we cut back to Namek after that, mm-hmm. uh, and Gohan determined to fight on. You know, he he fires more energy blasts. This time, Raccoon blows it away, like literally blows it away with his breath. Oh, uh, let's see. That was the first time. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, so we don't have to linger on a child being beaten up anymore. Uh, we cut to Frieza and Ginyu trying to make the wish on the Dragon Balls. Mm-hmm. Um, we... They're trying. They're trying. They're they're gloating. They're really enjoying. It. They're like, yes, we finally did it. <laughs> and as the viewing audience can see, uh, Ginyu offers Frieza. It's like, shall I do the dance of joy? Mm-hmm. I believe is what they called it. Yeah, the dance of joy. Um, and Frieza's like, ah, no, I'm good. Yeah, you know what? Maybe next. Ginyu, maybe next time, bud. Yeah, Frieza is very much in mind. Uh, threatens Ginyu's life and says, if you value your life, you'll stop doing that dance right now. And then says, no offense. <laughs> like, just, Frieza's just not in the mood for the dance. Wow. That, got, Ginyu, that got serious. It did. It really did. And Ginyu getting serious back is like, sorry, Lord Frieza. I, uh, I should have known better. I'll save the dance for your immortality. <laughs> There's... Yeah, I don't know what's... I, it's definitely funnier to be the more, like, casual, like, uh, you know what, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, right now. Maybe, maybe not no. now, can you? I re- it's still work hours. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, Lord Frieza. I sometimes, I just get so excited about your accomplishments and serving you, my lord, that I, I break into the dance of joy. Sometimes I, I twerk with excitement. Oh, no, that's... Look, we... Every week you do get an hour for personal development time and sort of your free time to whatever you feel like is you need to continue to improve uh, w- for your responsibilities and you always choose dancing, um, but just save it for then or, or maybe the company talent show. That's gonna. That's a few weeks away, right? Oh, Lord Frieza, I'm, I'm so excited for the talent show. I've been promoting the talent show on TikTok, my lord. The company's tick, t- the Frieza Forces TikTok. Yes, <laughs> it's called the the Fick Talk. F for 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 Frieza, my lord. <laughs> no, I get it. Just it sounds like something else, and you know we don't use that kind of language in the Frieza Force. That's right, my lord. I'm I'm so sorry. I'll have it changed immediately, and I'll wait, destroy how, wait, the wait, admin. Wait, how many followers? Uh, uh, over over a billion, my lord. We're we're galactic. That's true. TikTok. Hooray. Isn't that great? TikTok has a galactic audience. Uh, all a bunch of other alien species and planets can see all the cool dances or like weird inside jokes or like middle aged men just like breaking down in their cars. It's very cool. Uh, My but, lord, I, I often do the challenges. Uh, like, what, I just yeah. got off work. And I take just, off my armor I, and I put on a Put on a hat, mm-hmm. a T-shirt. What's that shirt say? I'm watching the video now. Oh, uh, the shirt says it's it's actually a callback to one of my favorite shows, The Chappelle Show. Of it's course, Rick James. Rick James. Oh, again with the language. I'm Lord Frieza. At least it, it, I have asterisks over the the vowels, so you don't know what it really oh. says. It could say butch. It could say batch. <laughs> could I mean? Could be misspelled bench. I would assume that, honestly. That's right, Lord Frieza. That's exactly what it is. Of course. All right. You know, we have too many followers to cancel it. We'll just, I'll let it slide. Anyway, we need to, uh, these, I'm not immortal yet, Ginyu. What What gives? Uh, I'm, I'm lightly kicking them, the balls. Oh, I, sh- I pose like this over them, like the meme. Just like the meme. Mm-hmm. You think it's two butts <laughs> or one butt, I guess. It could be two. For you, two. Lord Frieza, it could be as many butts as the galaxy has. Could be cigarette butts, Lord That's Frieza. Like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Much like your shirt, it's up for interpretation. 
and D. D. Look, it's been a month. We had, we had to go for it. We're so. Oh, I was gonna say we're very rusty. Mm-hmm. Uh, un, you know, rust. Unlike a certain nail, who's who's clean, fresh, flying. I I forgot about nail. Forgot about nail. I did forget about nail, and you never forget about nail. Mm-mm. Um, he gets an odd feeling as he's going to help uh, Gohan and Krillin. He's like, "Uh oh, I think." Something's gonna happen to Guru, so he flies back, and that's that's kind of it. That's that's his scene for yeah, this episode. Yeah, like I was hoping for a little bit more of Nail when when I remembered that he he's going to help. I was like, wait, am I gonna? Are we gonna see Nail fight right now? That would be great, but no, not yet. No, 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 not yet. Because I was imagining if Nail gets there, and then mm-hmm. Go Goku shows up, and then Goku's like Piccolo, and then and then we got to. We yeah, and we got heads. a whole yeah, we got a whole we nother, got a whole another we got a new podcast to record. <laughs> That's Go Goku has demonstrated face blindness mm. to a degree. So that's und, that's understandable in his mm. realm of dumb dumbness. Yeah. If you have a nose, it's harder for Goku to know who you are. <laughs> he he recognizes Krillin because Krillin has oh, no instantly, nose. Yeah. The most unique <laughs> human being on the planet. Yeah, clear as the nose, not on his face. Um, Gohan, man, I really wish I could cut that out because it's it was bad, uh, but we can't. Uh, Gohan, to right before, I think the last bit of this first part is Gohan dan like he's hurt, he's hurt very badly, and he just calls out for his dad. Oh, hard to watch. It, it gets worse because it does get worse. <laughs> But it gets worse after this commercial. Oi, better! What is it, Jace? I'm watching Raccoon beat up a smart child, which is, honestly, it's taking longer than I, I thought it would. Right. I, I'm just like, that's too much. And, and, and I didn't want to keep watching it. So mm-hmm. instead, mm-hmm. I, I went on Patreon.com. Mm-hmm. And a, a site everyone, everyone in the universe knows Patreon, a way to support artists directly. That's right. And and I was like, I was looking at my subscriptions and I was like, Doughboys, Chick. A mm-hmm. uh, lot, lot of 18 plus ones, I see. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. cool. Y- you know, and then, I, you know, I got my, my, my H-Tube and I got my. <laughs> H-Tube? <laughs> that's it's, new it's a- to me. That's new to me. Berta, you got to get on this, mate. It's it's pretty rad. I can't I can't look it because of some unknown reason. I can't look it up right now, but afterwards I will continue. Continue. Maybe don't. I don't. <laughs> but but one that I am proud. I'm mm-hmm. proud to have a subscription to the Kame House Party Patreon. So whenever Ooh. you're ready, you can go to Patreon.com/slash Kame House Party. Oh, you mean that? Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. He's right there. I had it written. I guess you may, uh, maybe someone wrote it down and I had it in my pocket. Mm. Oh, it's just a pop up on my scouter. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm dumb. I could have <laughs> just sent it to you through my scouter. Yeah, you could have sent me links to that and the H2. <laughs> I'm, I, look, I, me, Berta, I'm extremely curious about this H2. Well, we'll talk, I'll talk about it after this fight, eh? All right, it does, all right. It seems real inappropriate now based on what's going on. <laughs> Uh, because the yeah, once the child once the children dies, and we can't offend him with this sort of talk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look, but continue. But uh, if you go to patreon.com slash call my house party, they've got new tiers for uh, subscriptions. There's two dollar tier that'll give you a uh, shout out. Are you sure it's not three dollars? I'm 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 a I, dummy. I could be wrong. <laughs> I know the exchange rate is between Sunday between. <laughs> Chocolate Sundays and dollars. It's, it gets a little wonky. That's right. I sometimes I think a Sunday is two dollars. Sometimes I think it's three dollars. It, it, it depends on the state and the Dairy Queen you go to. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. But but unlike Dairy Queens uh, and their multiple locations, the Come My House Party Patreon it, it's consistently great. Mm. And now they've got video on their Patreon, so you can watch. The pregame, which is a, at a $5 subscription, you get their extra conversations 
other than the podcast? You mean they talk, are you telling me they talk more uh, than, than Dragon Ball talk? They have right. other interests? They talk more about these st- stupid Dragon Balls that we keep having to find for Lord Fraser. Mm-hmm. Don't tell him I said that. I mean, that's why, that's the reason I listen. It's reconnaissance. I write it off. You can write it off. We can write off this Patreon, Jace. I know you're dumb, but. Oh, great. I didn't, well, write off. Who, who's that? Am I going to fight him? Uh, so, I Is mean, he an earthling? In the spring, you kind of do fight them. <laughs> I don't. I think. I think that's something that I've forgotten to do for years. <laughs> My galactic taxes, mate. Is that oh, right? Now you. Now you sound like one of the members of Comedy House Party. <laughs> but five five dollars for a week. I'm gonna guess weekly extra conversations. That's right. Weekly content. That sounds great. That sounds like a real value. It's great value for your time and money and mine. I just. I, I've been just throwing Sundays at Earth, hoping it gets to them. <laughs> I That's think how it works, right? I think it's either a PayPal or like a credit card situation. Oh, oh, well, I, I guess my PayPal and credit cards are in those Sundays. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. just just go to come, patreon.com slash Party. Check out Kamei House Party's offerings on your own time after this fight's over. After HTube, yes. After, now, now I, I feel like I've spoiled something. It was my little secret and now it's yours. <laughs> Let's just, it can be our secret. Hey, let's let's agree not to tell Raccoon, all right? Oh no, he's he's such a prude. I'm getting enough NF, NSFW vibes from the back of his uniform. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Looking yeah, like a plumber out there. <laughs> I thought you said a plum, and I'm like, oh, is that the new term for the butt? <laughs> they're not peaches, they're plums. Well, his is a plum. It's nice and small, smooth, smooth, covered in wax. I assume. That's right. You gotta keep it fresh. And when you get older, you got a nice prune back there. Ooh, uh, I you know what? I like prunes. And, That's it. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And you're like, I assume anyone else listening to this somehow is going to like Kame House Party's Patreon at patreon.com slash Kame House Party. That's right. Listen to it in your scouter or whatever you use on Earth or whatever. Yeah, Earth, er, look, Earth sucks. <laughs> They don't have cool scouters. Don't right, it does. Mm-hmm. All right, let, let's keep watching Raccoon beat this child up. My favorite thing. <laughs> Ooh, welcome back from that Ooh. ad. And yeah. uh, oh gosh, we are we are back where we left off. We're back from outer space, and we're back in outer space. That's right. Can't, we can't we can't escape this space stuff. Just like we can't escape Raccoon beating up a child. Uh, but at least once we come back from commercial, Gohan reinvigorates himself. He's re-inspired because he's got a mission. He's trying to save his friends. He's thinking of Mr. Piccolo, Tien, Yamcha. He leaves out Chaozu. <laughs> He says Chaozu in mine. Oh, he does? Maybe mm-hmm. I missed Maybe Maybe I left out Chaozu. <laughs> Uh, Come on, Vince. Oh, hey, hey, Chaozu. I, I'm up? sorry. I did. What up? What up? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Chaozu. What's up, players? <laughs> you say players now? Mm-hmm. Hey. I, look, I love three of them. <laughs> I got the gibbets coming. <laughs> you got those gibbets. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you rock Crocs. Like, I didn't know they came out in the in in size. In what, baby what size? size? You, yeah, I was gonna say. Do they uh, have baby Crocs? I'm. Uh, let's see. I think. I'm like a baby 10, but like a young man's five. Okay. I think that's how that works. A baby 10, a kid's five, mm-hmm. an adult. Uh, like negative. <laughs> you, yeah. Sometimes I wear TN shoes and pretend I'm big and strong like him. Oh, do, do you call it TN shoes on? I will now. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's super good. <laughs> Oh, you know what, Chaozu? I'm sorry, I forgot you. I, I you, you're a, you're an integral part of the team and mm-hmm. the experience. Uh, you're one of the Z fighters Thank through and you. through, and and just just so you know, I I I really appreciate your contributions to the what? team. That's very nice uh, of you to say. How's the afterlife? You guys training still? Pickle yeah. not being too mean to you? No, he like keeps to himself mainly. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're we just. It's kind of boring. Um, 
Time loses all meaning. <laughs> I eat pretty good. I do every day. I do eat like uh, Kobayashi, <laughs> or I just get a big old belly. If you, I think you remember that, right? I do, Jiaozu. I remember that every time you eat, you get a big old <laughs> belly. You got to just lay down for a while. Vince has like three times a day. I don't. Get, I mean, we need the. We're burning those calories, but it can't be healthy. No, Chiaozu, you don't want a distended belly. You just, you want to just eat what you can and and kind of. I, I'm maybe this is a counting error. Maybe you can, mm-hmm. are you not able to keep count? My calories or both. I mean, I'm. I don't want to drum up any traumatic. I mean, I tried but... to do a tracking app, but like you know, it's it's a hassle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I didn't do it. What is it? They say seven days to mm-hmm. form a habit. Yeah. I, got the, I get the six and then it's like, Bleh. oh, chow tzu. I'm, I'm like, sorry. You know, I have an ice cream and I'm like, oh, I didn't track this. I'm like, ah, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll do the rest. And then I don't do the rest. I bet you kid Kai has something to do with that too, huh? He's he's always making jokes. It's like, oh, count. OK, this is chow tzu's impersonation of King Kai. Here we go. <laughs> I've been waiting for this one. Okay, great, 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 great. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, chow tzu. <laughs> Counting calories instead of counting how many reps. Typical. And I'm like, you know, it's all, nutrition is is a part of physical fitness, kink eye. And then he, he's, he's gone by then. He's already walked away laughing to himself. He's already on the other side of the planet. Yeah, it's not even, yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I try to get some free time by myself. And yeah, and how's that I, go? Not well. Greg, Greggy's like, "Hey, short man," and he finger guns me. And oh, that's like, cold. It's like I, I think he just likes having another flying short guy around. Uh huh. Uh huh. But I'm so, like, I just need like ten minutes, man. I'm an introvert. I'm INTJ. <laughs> I need that time alone. And he's a biggie. He's a Big extrovert. Uh huh. He he's like e e something something something. Mm-hmm. I I look. I didn't ask. I don't care. Chow Tzu. I you know what? I can't wait for you to be back in regular episodes. But thanks I'd for. I'd love st- to be alive, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great. This Halo. I don't like this Halo. It's not flattering. No, it's it's an oh. If it was maybe in front of me like a ring light. It'd be more flattering. I, I'm already very pale. So now in like in like when I zoom my mm. parents, which I don't want to get into, but just on like zoom calls and things, I'm blown out. <laughs> you just see like two eyes and a mouth floating. It's very unsettling. And those rosy cheeks. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. I and look, <clears throat> maybe maybe you can talk to King Kai. About getting some of that stuff sent from, you know, other world HQ. I, nice I mean, he is box. a Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just a dimmer for my halo, <laughs> honestly. You try and sleep at night. I mean, a, a dimmer on the halo, that's got to go all the way up to King Yemma. I don't, I don't know about Ooh, that. Ooh, no, he's too, he's too big. He's, he's too scary. big, too scary. Mm-hmm. But you know what, Chiaotzu? Uh, thanks for stopping by on the pod. It's been great to hear from you. And maybe we'll do this more often. A little, a little, maybe little interviews with characters we haven't seen in a while. That's right. That's right. The, the, seems, where where they been? Where yeah. they at? I mean, in character interviews is a novel idea. No one's ever done it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's. I look. I'm not your partner in this endeavor, so. But I'm letting you know I like the idea. Chaozu, thank you, and. All right. uh, uh, oh, it's it's time for my it's time for my meal. I gotta get that belly ready, baby. <laughs> and, and see. Oh, he's gone. What, what? <laughs> oh, he's back. Oh gosh, Aaron, you missed it. What uh, no, I ew, I hate being on that side. Chow, That's chow your, to you. <laughs> stay on your side of the stream. Hey, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> All right, I I didn't do any of we that. We gotta. I'm gonna draw a line that divides <laughs> us. A line, a line in the stream. Mm-hmm. You stay on your side. This is this is our sitcom episode. Uh huh. I'm always on. I'm always on the scouter side of Frieza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, much like much like Christ and God. <laughs> You're always on the right hand of Frieza. <laughs> but we, I mean, speaking of right, mm-hmm. we're 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 back at Frieza and Ginyu. No one's immortal yet. There's been no flash. We haven't seen a dragon at all, which is mm-hmm. they don't know that, but we know as the audience that like clearly something's amiss if 
if that hasn't happened. Sorry, I'm looking at myself and I hate how I look, but I'm going to continue. Uh, Frieza remembers that what one of the elders said to him, uh, and he just thought it was sort of like a, a slam or just a, like being a sore loser. I think he lit- legitimately says this Namekian. This Namekian was being a sore loser. He's like, oh, I don't care if you get the boss. You won't be able to summon dragon anyway. Nana, nana, boo, boo. And I'm like, well, that's uncalled for. Blast, you're dead. <laughs> so so Frieza's remembering. <laughs> that's how Frieza handles yeah. his bullies. Mm-hmm. My haters are my motivators. And <laughs> also my target practice. <laughs> he, uh, But yeah, he's like, oh, I got it. There's like a passcode. It's like a Green Lantern ring, or I got a a ring. I think he says like it's either a password, or I got to do it in a certain place, or there's a certain arrangement, mm-hmm. which I think might. I, I know there's a code phrase, but an arrangement might be fun. You got to yeah. do it numerically, mm-hmm. or or uh, opposite numerically, mm-hmm. <laughs> or in multiples of two. You have to bowl a perfect game with them. <laughs> um, that 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 would be gosh. If Dragon Balls were real, I feel like that would be it. You would have to bowl a perfect game with the four star ball to make your wish. Mm-hmm. And I'd wish for infinite three hundreds. <laughs> I uh, yeah. The irony is that you wanted to bowl a perfect game, <laughs> and that was what you were wishing for. That's how the Dragon Balls really work. Mm-hmm. It's like what Steph Curry did to make all those jump shots. Uh, that's just for me. What did he? What did he do? Did he do anything? Oh, Aaron, this NBA season has been uh, a Goku-like effort from Steph Curry to will his team into the play-in game for the NBA playoffs. Mm. Uh, Steph Curry should be the MVP. I, at the time of recording this, the MVP for the NBA has not been announced, but Steph Curry should be the MVP. He had a sixty-two point game, Aaron. That's, sixty-two points. I don't follow basketball, but I know that's big. That's high. Yeah, it's for usually one player, half. Half of an NBA team's average score. NBA team score in like the hundreds to hundred twenties mm-hmm. these days, and he had half their points. It's insane. Ooh. Yeah, give let him let him have it. Let him live. Let Steph Curry live. Give him his flowers. Um <clears throat> unlike Frieza, who I think is now planning on taking flowers from Guru Nail and Dende, because he's like, I gotta find these Namekians. Uh <clears throat> And there's like a little gag about Frieza's men's incompetence. He's like, Ooh. <clears throat> Ginyu is like, Ah, oh, Lord Frieza, check your scouter. There's got to be some Namics around here somewhere. And he goes, Oh, it looks like my men left three Namics. I guess, <clears throat> I guess their incompetence paid off at the end, didn't it? Um, I, I, uh, I didn't get that. He, he doesn't, he doesn't mention his force. He's always, he's always tearing down his employees. Also, who's like, you hired them. I, look, don't, don't talk to me. It's senior not you, leadership. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> freezes, freezes. Like, I'm not in charge of hiring. That's, <laughs> I don't do much day to day, you know, unless it's the reprimanding. I, I, I get my hands real dirty in that. No kidding, Lord Frieza. Mm-hmm. And just to be honest, I, I had nothing to do with the most recent round of interviews. I just, you let me interview for my core. And as you can see, we are doing our jobs. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're you great at hunting talent, at recognizing potential. Um, maybe not with Goldo. I, I, get, I get why you wanted sort of a curveball to be thrown in. A keep, non- keep your enemies on their toes, Lord Frieza. Mm-hmm. People are going to look at him and think, oh, he's just a weird green. Well, I'm glad he can't hear any of this because HR would have a field day. But he's like a, you know, a weird green four-eyed freak. Uh, I mean, like Vegeta said, got to give it up um, where credit is due. Oh, yeah. Remember, I I, I recruited Lord, uh, I mean, not Lord Vegeta. I recruited oh, no, Vegeta into the dare. force. Sorry, Lord Frieza. But, yeah, mm-hmm. you, which, which worked out for a while. You're like, hey, how about these uh, sayings? And I'm like, they'll shed everywhere. We can't. <laughs> you said you'd clean it up and, wa- and feed them every day. <laughs> I, I had to get a bunch of lint rollers. Just for Vegeta. I'm mm-hmm. glad there was only one left. Yeah. <laughs> well, and Nap and Nap is a hairless Saiyan, so it worked out. Oh, I forgot about him. Jeez, they're so disposable. Yeah. Hopefully, no, hopefully he doesn't come in and ask why we forgot about him. 
I feel like that might take up too much time. Quite, quite possibly, Lord Frieza, because I, I, I'll go get those Namekians for you. No, no, leave it to me. I'll do it. I need to stretch my legs by cramping them in a little <laughs> chair and flying off. You guard the Dragon Balls. Bye-bye. And maybe, I don't know, arrange them or, I don't know, give them little kisses, whatever you think might summon them. I'll, I'll polish them, give them kisses at your behest, Lord Frieza. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, those balls better shine. I better be able to see my reflection. And now for the dance of babysitting. All right, I'm, I'm taking off. The dance of babysitting. I'm going to sit on these balls. I'm going to sit on not, the balls. They're not eggs. What are you doing? Hatch, dragon, hatch! <laughs> and see. see. That's, that is not unthinkable. Unlike Krillin's falling, that's not unthinkable. <laughs> yes. uh, to think that like, oh, I gotta hatch these eggs. I gotta, ba- I gotta mama bird these. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like uh, that mama crab that we met a while ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that crab would know what to do. Mm-hmm. Put on his back. Um, okay. We got all our giggles out because this is, oh my God. Yeah. Fight continues. I don't even say it's a good fight. It's a, it's a massacre. Oh yeah. Gohan drops on the, uh, Gohan drops on the ground. Slowly gets up and does like the slow walk. uh, Mm -hmm. Towards Mm -hmm. the camera and it's like one take and then he falls down. Slowly gets back up. He looks so beat up. There's no music to it. Mm-hmm. Um, between like, you know, gasping for air, he says, I am father's son Goku's son. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I know, I know. It's bad. In in mine, he he said, I'll I won't ever give up because dad would never give up. That's, oh, that's that good shonen anime stuff, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's that's like direct injected shonen into mm-hmm. the vein. Oh, that's what it's all here for. And it's, mm-hmm. again, from like 20 episodes ago, 25 episodes ago, just I guess technically like half a year from when, from original broadcast. It's, it's holy, holy crud, the, the change in this kid already. Mm-hmm. I mean, going uh, to space will change a man. It w- yeah. Put hair on your chest. Mm-hmm. Uh, decrease the density of your bones. It's true. Make you a couple inches taller. It will. Um, lots of radiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty irradiated by the time you come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're glowing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a healthy glow. A um, lot of muscle atrophy. That's true. That's true. Um, that's why you got to get that gravity in there. And there's always the potential of space madness. There's always a yeah, like Bulma suffered for like five minutes. <laughs> That's right. Um, Go Gohan, one does a one last ditch effort to try and beat Raccoon, but Raccoon Ooh. kicks him in the back, knees him in the back. It's something horrible. It's like a kick, like a almost like a donkey kick to the neck. It's. Ugh. I could pull Oof. up the screen, but we don't want to see that. No, it, no it's one awful. wants to see that. It is awful. We will look. That's. I mean, that'll make this NSF, NSFW. Yeah, that's right. To show that. Um, uh, but yeah, the the background goes black. There is no music, and it's none. super slow mo. The we. I think we all know what dead anime eyes looks like. Mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. You're like your pupils are very light. Yeah, it's uh, it's so hard to watch. Like and. Uh, after like they they linger on it too because after the kick like Gohan is down and out like bloodied and battered, oh gosh, and uh, he's like twitching. It's real bad. Like Jace uh, even says like, "Oh, he's not getting up from that for sure." Like, ah, oh, it's bad. I the, the I don't know even if this is categorized as like a good thing, <laughs> but um. Raccoon does give Gohan some props. He's like, you're one of the tougher fighters I've ever faced. Like, Ooh, no one's true. really lasted like this. Uh, like, eh, But it's not worth it. <laughs> that, that accolade is not what yeah. I want to hear yeah. at all. Um, uh, ba- we have a near-dead 
Gohan. Did we already say that uh, his back is broken? Or his neck is broken? No, yeah, just just to wrap it all up, that kick broke his neck. <sighs> I, don't, I don't like yeah. thinking of no. necks breaking. And I don't like that bird to like kind of new like from a distance. Like, yep, I've seen it a million times. Oh no. Broken neck, baby. Ugh, yeah. Not good dudes, the, the Ginyu Force. No. Fun that they may be. They are used to murder. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chi-Chi wakes up screaming in a hospital bed. She has survived the crash. It seems like with minimal in- injuries. Uh, but she's just crying. Yeah, we just get Chi-Chi crying. Um, because she's like, my son's super dead. Yeah. She I, knows it. That, that, that parental link, even mm-hmm. millions and millions and millions of miles away, uh, is I, I like that they kept that stuff in there that we get to see Chi Chi's reaction and it kind of further informs the audience like it's bad out here. <laughs> Shit went south. Ponchi's just chomping at the bit. Just one more obstacle out of the way before I can have my Goku. <laughs> She's like, darn it. The uh the ship didn't explode upon re-entry uh, as I had yeah. planned. <laughs> yeah, she kicks a wrench out of the way. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you, ship darling. You're usually so great at this mechanical stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I had everything working. Mm-hmm. Did you, I mean, I guess you didn't check the uh, the pulsar wires. They can be tricky. They're always, uh, the you know what? Wise, the pulsar mm-hmm. wires. Dear, how did mm-hmm. you know about the pulsar wires? Mm, nothing, just stuffing something into my pocket. Maybe I left the schematics Getting, out. Ooh, how about a nice distraction with a tall glass of lemonade? Honey? Oh, thank you, dear. It's mm-hmm. just what I needed after chain smoking the cigarette for episodes yeah. upon don't, episodes. Don't, don't mind the arsenic taste. That's just almond flavoring. Ah, ah, ha, 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 delicious. <laughs> ah, it was, I forgot that's how you drink. Lemonade. One of the things I definitely love about you and doesn't gross me out in any way. That's right. Unlike unlike everyone else who just, who go, ah. I go, mm-hmm. ah, ah. I, I definitely love you in your frumpy, mustachioed body. Oh, thank you, darling. Even though I'm constantly surrounded by muscular hunks who just, I feel like they can really do a number on me. <laughs> I mean, uh, sure, possibly, but none of them have the brains, expertise, and, and more importantly, straight cash flow. <laughs> That's, damn it, I do love, I do love those dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> I can, uh, you know what, I'll They call me alive. dollar dollar briefs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in our marital bed, yes, I do. <laughs> and see. see. Every, look, I'm going to. We finally found, first of all, love that we found a, a, a woman's voice that we can do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A Harley, uh, a, a, a Bronx, Brooklyn, Long Island, Harley Quinn type. Two, we found Ponchi's character game. Oh, yeah. And so we need her to come back more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So we can play around. <laughs> She's a Black Widow. <laughs> She's she's try she's just trying to see what's next, baby. I mean, uh, if he di- mm. I mean, if he dies, who he gets dies. that money? Who gets that money? <laughs> yeah, I bet you the cat gets the money. Probably he's very close. I mean, as we see, uh, as we see here. Mm-hmm. Uh, if your honor, if you look at <laughs> the background behind us that the listening audience can't see, careful, you'll summon those those space law- those those lawyers again. <laughs> oh, oh the, yeah, yeah, oh boy, oh boy. Um, because we, we, one more thing, um, we're back on Namek. Raccoon is about to finish the job, but they see in the background a spaceship. Like, what? Huh? It lands. It's a familiar ball shape. It's got corporate branding on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We see a hand in a chair. We see someone tie a a sack of, I'm going to assume beans. It could be anything uh, mm-hmm. to, to, to their waist, man. I mean, it's not. It, it's Goku. He's here. He's oh, finally Oh, here. yeah, he's finally here. I thought, I thought this title, Goku finally touches down to the battlefield, was going to be a liar. 
because we've been fooled before. We've mm-hmm. we've we've been told that Goku's been here, mm-hmm. but he is. It's finally happening. He is here. Hopefully, it's not a whole episode of him and the ship saying, "Where's I know, piece? right?" <laughs> Goku's just like, phone, wallet, keys. Wait, I can't leave until I have all these things. I checked the stove 20 times. No more, no less. Why can't I find what I'm looking for? I should get those tag things. Or I'll get the Apple version or the capsule version that costs $600. (laughs) Oh, boy. There's, yeah, that's it. Goku's here. Oh my Goku's God, here. Goku's here. He's going to save us. He's going to say, Goku's here to save us. Thank just God. like Aaron, just like the podcast is back to save us. Mm-hmm, yeah. Goku's back to save us. That is it. Yeah. We, we are back, baby. Goku's here. Buckle in. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to go on a limb and say, I think maybe Raccoon's days are numbered. Maybe. Minutes even. Possibly. I mean, I, I'm excited to see what happens next. I know everybody listening probably is, and also watching. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you all for, if you're back from before, thank you for sticking it out through this break. It, it, it does feel good to be back uh, in this new format. Uh, let us know what you think. Are we wasting our time? Are you like, ew, faces? I, uh, I hate those things I hate. <laughs> get, get them out of here. Well, they're still the audio version, so don't worry. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. Uh, but let us know what you think about this new format and how we're doing things now. Um, if you want to talk to us, you can write to us at KameHousePartyPod at gmail.com. We are on Twitter and Instagram at KameHousePartyPod. Um, we said it, someone said it before, and we'll just add on to that. If you want to support the show financially, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Kame House Party. For $3 a month, you get a fun shout-out on the podcast, which will start next episode. Um, for $5 a month, you get weekly bonus content. It could who knows what we're talking about. This week we're we we went on a whole Vince taught me about life and love on the Enterprise. That's right. And and we we see some we see some hot picks. It's we the, see, we see, we do, we, exa- we do we see exa- some hot picks. Yeah. We do examine some, uh, some, attra- some attractive people. <laughs> and yeah, go to that. If you want to support us financially, it allows us to do things like we're doing with the video element now. Uh, so thank you very much. And you know, every Thursday at 8 PM Eastern, we're on twitch.tv slash Kame house party. Uh, we are playing a variety of games and having a variety of guns. Yeah. That's what our thumbs look like. Get my thumbs ready. Mm-hmm. You got to do 20 reps of those. That's right. Each thumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but yeah, that's it. That, that's all the things. That, that's no all more, the things. No more calls to action. No more calls to action. Now it's just time to thank you because we do appreciate all of your contributions, uh, all the listening, all the downloads, all the nice words and kindness, and we appreciate the patience over this break. So, <clears throat> whether you are finally giddy that Goku's back, or you're still in shock from what you saw Gohan go through, <laughs> you gotta keep, keep five. five.